welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting episode of Who Am I? I won't be uh, heading out until midnight. Uh, a lot of people don't realize I really don't leave on my annual trip until midnight. It's more than just an annual trip because, um, you know, I make the rounds before Christmas to uh, make sure all the little boys and girls have been good. And then I come back here to the North Pole and, you know. Anyway, <clears throat> so I think I figured it out. I think I figured it out. Oh, we got that done. I Oh my gosh, look at that. Ooh, is she hot or what? What are you doing, sweetie? Knitting or crocheting? Sweetie. Huh? Are you knitting or crocheting? Knitting. She's knitting. Sorry. It's okay. And see that up there? We got the flag in there and a picture of my dad. We need to get one for Carolyn's dad. She did a really good job. She... This is a picture of my dad when he was in boot camp, uh, not boot camp, AIT, uh, Advanced Individual Training, 6th Infantry Division during the Korean War. <coughs> anyway, so I think I figured something out. Those of us who don't have a problem with guns, we don't have violent tendencies. We're not going to go out there and harm anyone the only time we would use a gun against someone is in self-defense and only in self-defense we're not the ones waging wars we're not the ones breaking into people's houses we're not the ones who get mad at somebody and start shooting at them or beating them up but the left the anti-gun nuts have these violent tendencies I've watched some videos and then from life experience you have these anti-gun nuts who have these very violent tendencies uh... if you watch there's a video from um, adam versus the man uh, he's actually a friend of ours we we like him we have a lot of respect for him and he was at an anti-gun rally and the violent people were were the anti-gun nuts i would never intentionally harm someone yeah, I think so many of these anti-gun people fear that they will harm someone, therefore they take responsibility and don't own guns. That's good for you. If you, if you, you think you're going to be violent towards someone, then don't have an instrument that you could use to cause that harm. I can respect that. Well, I'm not going to cause harm to anyone, at least not with intent. So I have no problems with a gun, with having a gun. I trust my wife. I trust myself. I respect myself. I respect her. I respect all of humanity. I'm not the one killing children with drones. Okay? I'm not the one killing people in illegal and immoral wars in Afghanistan, in Iraq, in Libya, Syria. You know, I'm not the one destabilizing countries like Syria. In, in Iran, uh, Pakistan, you know, I'm not the one killing children with drones in Afghanistan and Pakistan and other countries. But see, I respect human life, so I'm not going to cause harm to anybody w intentionally. It's the people who don't have that respect for human life and who have the violent tendencies within them that are the ones who don't want anyone else to have guns because they think the rest of us are also going to be violent. Well, we're not. Just because you're that way doesn't mean we're that way. And also, oh, what was I going to say? I kind of lost my train of thought. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. I want to say that. This is not a Christmas video. Christmas video comes tomorrow. Uh, my wife has a present under the tree. It's not a big deal gift. It's 
just a gift. It's just, I kind of just saw it and was like, oh, well, you know, that's sort of like what she wants, but it's not, I don't know, I don't think it's something she's really going to use a whole lot. I think this thing that the UPS driver brought over when I wasn't here so I couldn't wrap it, that's her big present anyway. That's that's the big one, you know. And then last year I got her a star. We finally uh, switched out my mother's star with my wife's star. Um, and um, Carolyn took a picture of Lucky with his reindeer antlers. Uh, yes, he's going to be pulling my sled tonight instead of, he's going to be in front instead of Rudolph being in front. I'm going to have Rudolph closer to me. So he, actually, I'm not going to have him in front. I'm going to have him in the sled with me so I can read the, the good and naughty list. And uh, anyway, and let me show you something else. This was in the basement. I happen to love European candies. Then again, I'm from Europe, so what do you expect? But what I did with this tin... These, let me get this one out first. These are um, snares, in case we ever have to use them for food. You know, you have to unwrap them now. Oh mm, gosh, what did I do to it? Oh my gosh, it's really all wound up here, isn't it? Anyway, so you have the snare. What you would do is this is a heavier duty wire than the other ones are made out of. And you'd put it across the trail, critter goes through and catches them. Sort of a kung fu move there. Um, but yeah, so that's that's my uh, my thought on that. Um, just because you have violent tendencies doesn't mean the rest of us do. And you know, 99.999% uh, of guns are are not used in a violent or illegal or immoral way. You know, I don't even hunt. I just shoot targets. Uh, I hope I never have to hunt. And I hope I never have to use a gun in self-defense. But the rest of you out there that are so anti-gun, you fear your own actions. But you take the responsibility that you should be taking, and I commend you for that, by not owning a gun. Now, I know there are actually a lot of people on the left who do have guns and who don't think the government's not going to start taking them away. The first step is registration. The second step is confiscation. Although there can be some things in the middle there. So, anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Merry Christmas.